Please let me spend a moment with you regarding ways that we are adapting our church life as a family of God during these difficult and uncertain days. Our privilege and responsibility to pray without ceasing is paramount. In a few days, you'll be hearing about a 24-hour prayer chain that will soon begin in our church family. I hope you'll be willing to participate. The church office is open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. Please do call ahead in case the staff is away or even for a part of that one day. Each week, newsletters and prayer lists go out on Wednesdays. They are sent by email to all who have email. Others who have regular mail or mail is sent to them. Help us to stay updated. Each Friday, we'll send a link to a shortened worship service. It'll be done by email. It will also be posted on our website. Hopefully, various church members will participate in the filming. Bear with us as we learn to do this. Our deacon on call from March 22nd through April the 4th is Dottie Ragsdale. The two weeks after that, it will be Lynn Roberts. You know that you can call them at any time if you have a need. You can call me at the office or at home whenever you may wish to do so. Next Monday, March the 30th, the church council will connect with one another to discuss our ongoing schedule after April the 1st. Once we meet, we'll send the appropriate information to everyone. Allow me to read two verses of scripture from Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, where Paul gives us words of great encouragement for our Christian life. He says, For this reason, since the day we first heard of it, we have not ceased praying for you, and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead a life worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God.